So in this video, I am going to install Kali Lena in VirtualBox. So I'm going to download the latest version of VirtualBox. So you want to go to this site, click on download VirtualBox 7.0. I'll click on Windows hosts. I'll click open, click yes. Click next, next, select yes. So VirtualBox is installed. So I'm going to download the Kali Linux. So you want to go to this site. It's Kali.org. Click on download. And you want to scroll down. So I'm going to download the 64-bit edition. So you have all these installer recommendations here. This is the standard one. This is the weekly everything and net installer. So I'm going to download the standard installer file. And this will download an ISO file. So I'll click the download. So the size of the ISO file is 3.7 gigs. So to run VirtualBox in your computer, you want to make sure that you go into the BIOS and that virtualization technology is enabled. So the ISO file is downloaded. So I'll open VirtualBox, click on New. So you want to type a name for this virtual box. So this is the folder where virtual box is installed and the type will be Linux and the version will be Debian 64 bit. So I'm going to select Debian 11 64 bit edition. Click next. So I'm going to set the memory to 10 gigabytes. So you want to stay within the green range. Now for the processors, I'm going to set it to 3. I'll click next. So in the disk size, I'm going to set it at 50 gigabytes. I'll click next. Click finish. So now I'll click on settings. Click on general. Click on advanced. So in the shared clipboard section, it's disabled. I'm going to enable it to bi-directional. So this means that you can copy and paste from Windows and Kali. I'm going to leave drag and drop as disabled. I'll click on display. So in the video memory, I'm going to adjust it to the Mac. So the graphics controller, I'm going to leave it as default. And in the extended features, I'm going to check this box, enable 3D acceleration. I'll click on storage. And on the controller IDE, click on empty. On the optical drives, click on the disk icon, select choose a disk file, which is the ISO file. So this is the Kali Linux ISO file. Select it, click open, click OK. So I'm going to click on network. So you want to make sure enable network adapter is checked and the attached to. I'm going to leave it as default at NAT. Click OK. So this is a summary of the settings. And now I'm going to start the virtual machine. I'm going to click Start. So it's powering on. So in the list of options, I'm going to select Graphical Install. I'm going to hit Enter. Okay, you want to select a language. I'm going to choose English. Click Continue. Here's where you can select the country. I'll click Continue. Configure the keyboard. It's English. I'll click Continue. So I'm going to leave the host name as default, Kali. I'll click Continue. In the Domain Name section, I'm going to leave it blank. I'll click Continue. So here is where you have to create a user account. So I'll type a username. Click Continue. I'll type a password. 
and retype the password. Click continue. So I'm in Eastern time. I'll click continue. So I'm going to use the entire disk. I'll click continue. Select this to partition. That's the default. I'll click continue. So I'm going to leave it as default. All files in one partition. Click continue. Click continue. And on the partition disk section, write the changes to the disk. I'm going to select yes. Click continue. So in the software selection, so it says here you can customize it by choosing a different desktop environment or a different collection of tools. So I'm going to select Genome and I'm going to uncheck Kali's default desktop environment. But you can choose this if you wish. I'll click continue. So I'm going to install the Grub bootloader. I'm going to select yes. Click continue. I'm going to select the drive. Click continue. And it's finishing the installation. So the installation is complete. I'm going to click continue. So now I get the login screen. I'm going to log in. I'm going to type my password. So I'll click on view. Click on full screen mode. So it's time to install the guest addition tools and this will enable 3D acceleration. For example, the clipboard sharing between Windows and the Kali Linux. So I'm going to open the terminal. And I'm going to update the system. So I'm going to type sudo. I'll type the password. So it says, do you want to continue? I'll type yes. Enter. So I'm going to reboot the machine now. So I'm going to type sudo. So now I'm going to install the kernel headers. I'll type my password. It says, do you want to continue? I'll type Y, enter. So now I'll go to devices and I'm going to insert the guest additional CD image. I'll click on that. 
So now that it is mounted, I'm going to open File Manager. So on the left side, this is the CD image. Click on it, and you're going to see all these files. You want to select all of them. So I'm going to copy all the files, and I'm going to place them in a Documents folder. So I'm going to open back Terminal, and I'm going to navigate to the Documents folder. I'm going to type ls. So I'll hit enter. So now I need to install this file to enable all the features of the virtual box. So I need to change the permissions of the file. So I'm going to type this command. So I'll type this command to execute the package. I'll type my password, hit enter. And it says, do you wish to continue? I'll type yes. So now guest addition support is added. I'm going to reboot the machine. I'm going to log in. So that's it. Installation is complete. And it runs smoothly. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.